Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to a brand new video. Today's video, I will show you something like this. How can you make a realistic shake effect manually? You will see a lot of plugin extension all are do the same thing so just follow my steps and you can make better one open premiere pro here you can see i have already inserted a screenshot make a adjustment layer top of this go to this adjustment layer and from here search for transform now drag and drop this transform effect on the adjustment layer now we will work on this transform area not this area scale it 120 percent we need this area a little bit bigger so come to the start point now we will shake like this like this you know this is a reference image you can get an idea so add a keyframe on anchor point go a little bit like this and click on this anchor point now you will see a green icon or blue icon here move it up little bit like this now go a little bit like this and move it down like this we will make the web okay go a little bit like this make it little bit bigger play the video and see how it looks we have to make it closer click on this area and click on this button make it closer make it closer Click again on this button and see how it looks. You can make it bigger by dragging this one. We need a little bit of rotation. At the start point, rotation will be zero. At this point, rotation will be minus 5 and at this point rotation will be only 5 at this point rotation will be minus 3 at this point rotation will be only 3 and at this point rotation will be minus 1 at this point rotation will be 0 see again how it looks you can adjust the keyframe distance if you need so go to effect and search for directional blur directional blur and drag it here go to the start point blur length is 0 direction 0 go little bit like this blur length will be 100 direction will be uh, 60 or minus 60 at this point direction will be minus 180 blur will be 100 or you can just finish the blur at this point so delete this keyframe and 
make it make the blur length to zero and now see how it looks perfect you can make it little bit distance so now you can do one more thing you can scale at, at the start point scale is 120 and go to little bit like this make it 200 or 250 or 300 300 now at this point when the blur is something around 60 to 70 percent and make it 100 drag it inside when the blur start then it will zoom in like this and then okay now see perfect so now let's put this adjustment layer into a video clip at this point our video clip are finished so now make this adjustment layer smaller something like this click this and click on ctrl c in your keyboard now here you can see i have already inserted two clip ctrl v here drag it just copy this adjustment layer and you can just paste on your video clip you can face a problem like this kind of black bar if you add directional blur on the same adjustment layer so to solve this problem you have to make another adjustment layer top of our previous one copy directional blur from the first adjustment layer now click on this second one right click and paste and go to the first one click on directional blur and delete it very simple way to make a perfect shake effect you don't need to search our internet for free preset just take a little bit time and make it yourself so that's all for today guys hope you like the video and see you in the next